That's adorable. It looks like a little house. It apparently can transfer to your cat's face at some point in the day. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got another Too Faced holiday set review for y'all today. So we're going to be talking about the Grand Hotel Cafe. This adorable little thing right here. So we're going to do like we normally do in my review videos. We will look at the packaging, talk about the pricing, look at some swatches. I'll talk about just kind of like the formulation of the shadows, the blushes, and the one bronzer in this kit, and then just give you my overall thoughts and impressions on it. And also, I'm going to throw in this as well. This is the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. I'm wearing it right now, so I'll do a little mini review on this as well. So yeah, let's jump into it. The price of this set is $49, and I personally bought mine from the Too Faced website because I wasn't sure who all would be carrying it, but now it's also available from Sephora and also Ulta, so you have some options there. And as far as what you get in here, you get 18 shadows that are 1.14 grams each for a total weight of 20.52 grams. You get two blushes that are 5.39 grams for a total weight of 10.78, and then one bronzer that is 5.39 grams. So you get quite a lot in this set. This is the outside box. That's adorable. It looks like a little house. Just looks like a little like, I don't know. It, it very much reminds me of last year's. I'm gonna show you in a second, but love the outside box. I think it's a great price. You usually get a little pamphlet in here with some really pretty looks and just kind of like, basically like mini tutorials of different looks that you can create with this set. So that's always a nice little added bonus. So the actual box itself looks like this and I absolutely love it. Love it so much. I mean, these little house sets, they started one last year with the um, Le Grand Chateau. This just totally sucked me in last year and I loved it this year too. If I had to choose I, I probably would choose the Grand Hotel Cafe. Just the coloring, like the color scheme of it is so cute, but I do love this one as well. So it looks like a little house, the little lid comes off and then you open it up and it has three different palettes inside. So it's all kind of like themed and super duper cute. This pops out, all the little palettes come out of here. And you have the little graphics inside. It says Grand Hotel Cafe, menu, peppermint mocha, eggnog latte, and gingerbread cookies. Super duper cute. You do get a um, deluxe size sample of the Better Than Sex mascara, which I've mentioned this multiple times. I do like that mascara. I think it does great things for the lashes and gives great volume, length, but it does smudge on me but most mascaras do smudge on me. The three different palettes inside are super duper adorable. I tell you, just Too Faced holiday stuff is so happy and girly and fun. I love all the themes of their holiday stuff. I think that they just knock it out of the park with their packaging and presentation. It's just unmatched. In my opinion, they're always my favorites. So these are the three different ones there is eggnog latte, there is peppermint mocha, that's what that one looks like, and then gingerbread cookie. And these all do smell like what they say. But honestly, I think eggnog latte smells the most like eggnog. Yeah, it, this one smells the most actually like eggnog. The other two I would just say kind of like, mm, let me do a little sniff to remember. Yeah, this one's a little bit peppermint mocha-y, but I would say, I don't know. I don't know that I, that it, like, they nailed the scent of that one, like, right on. It just kind of, it smells good, but I wouldn't, like, smell it and go, oh, that's peppermint mocha. You know what I mean? And then gingerbread latte, no, gingerbread cookie. This one just smells good. Kind of just smells like a cookie, but not necessarily, like, gingerbread. So they smell nice, but I wouldn't say that they're like an exact, if I smelled that scent, I would know exactly what they were going for. Running through the different palettes, we're gonna start with Eggnog Latte. So this one is overall a neutral palette, so there's mostly neutral shadows in here, but then there is one kind of fun green thrown in, and then there is a peachy sort of a blush. So I'm mostly wearing this palette today on my face. I have this shadow, this shadow, this shadow, this shadow, this blush, and then I have a couple others from some of the others. So mostly wearing this one and I think it's a really pretty sort of a palette. I like the color scheme of this one. So running through the swatches, so we're going to start on the top row of the palette. This is right here. That one is Frosty Nog. Really pretty matte. 
I'm really liking the mattes in this set, so I'll just say that, you know, right off. I really do like the mattes in this set, especially. This one is Eggnog Latte, and I'm going to talk more about kind of this sort of a shadow when I talk about the formula in just a second, um, because this sort of formula, like formula, this sort of formulation of shadow appears in this set kind of multiple times. So it's basically like a really, really tiny micro, micro fine shimmery shadow with not a ton of pigmentation behind it. So it kind of is sort of powdery and sort of like poofs away. Um, but I have noticed as I've kind of gotten down into it, it's getting better. And I'm noticing that about multiple shadows in this set. So that's one of those. This one is Iced Coffee. Same with that one, kind of did the same thing, but it's a really pretty sort of um, bronzy, shimmery shade. Love this one, this is Skinny Latte. Great transition color. This one is Cold Brew. That one has quite a bit of fallout, but it's a really, really pretty glittery shade. Then there is Central Park. That one had to be built up. I was kind of surprised. I was expecting that one to be super pigmented right off, but it kind of had to be built up a little bit. And then that is the blush in Peach Cobbler. Peppermint Mocha is kind of your like pinky purpley burgundy sort of palette. I really like this one. I'm really drawn to this one. I almost wore it today, but I thought it would clash too much with my lips. So I'm not wearing this one today, but I do have this on my outer corner. But I think this one is a beautiful collection of colors. I think it really totally matches the outside packaging. So this one's kind of like the girly one of the group. And then it has kind of like the girly pink um, blush here. So let's run through these different colors. This first one is Peppermint Cream. That one's a really pretty matte. Christmas Blend, that's another one of those kind of like super duper shimmery, like micro fine shimmery sort of shades with not a ton of pigmentation behind it, but it is getting better as I get into it more. Um, Peppermint Mocha is kind of that way too, sadly. But again, getting into it, it is getting better. This one is Candy Cane, really pretty kind of light matte pink color. This one is Sprinkles. I'm having to really kind of build that one up a little bit and also having to build up Chocolate Chips. So these all seem to be shadows that I'm kind of having to get into a little bit more and they are improving, but um, it's not like great pigmentation right off the bat, except for the mattes. Those have great pig pigmentation right off. And then the blush, Weird knuckle swatch there, that is Santa Baby. Lastly is Gingerbread Cookie. And again, this one is overall a neutral palette, but there is that kind of like shimmery lavender shade thrown in there. And this one has a bronzer versus a blush like the other two. So it's nice that you get a bronzer and some blushes in this set. So there is what that one looks like. And then as far as swatches go, I have those right here for you. This one is Ginger Cream. It's pretty much the color of my skin, so you can't really see it very well. This one is Maple Syrup. That one is Ginger Snap. That one looks really pretty, but it's, again, pretty loose. Like, it's a, it's a loose sort of a shadow, so it does have quite a bit of fallout, but it's really pretty. This one is Winter Dream. When I first saw that one in the palette, I thought it was going to be kind of like Marvelous. Like, that's what there's one that's um, called Marvelous that's been in a bunch of different palettes. I thought it was going to be like that, but... This one is really not quite like that to me. Like, it seems like it's more kind of pinky and not as pigmented, sadly. Um, and then there is Cup of Joe. That's a really pretty, like, dark bronze sort of color, like bronzy, chocolatey kind of a color. And then um, a black in there. That one is Black Coffee. And then the bronzer across the top, that is Gingerbread. Love the bronzer. It's like a really pretty kind of satin sort of a bronzer. Really, really pretty. Now the formula on these products. I really like the face products. I think that the blushes are beautiful. The bronzer is beautiful, nicely pigmented. They are easy to work with, easy to blend. So I really like the face products. The mattes are really pretty. They're nicely pigmented too. They blend well. They're easy to work with. They wear well. So I really like those. Now the others. There's really not a lot, if any, like buttery, metallic, super pigmented shadows, which are some of my favorites. Like those are always exciting to see in a palette because they're just like, first off, wow, look at this pigmentation. There's really not any of that happening in here, but there are a lot of those kind of loosely packed, micro fine glittery shades. And on first pass with them, I was super disappointed because there was not hardly any pigmentation. And I was just super duper disappointed. 
but as I've gotten into them, they are getting more pigmented and I think that they'll get more pigmented as I even get a couple layers down in more. Um, but right now what I'm finding is they're just a little bit more difficult to work with. Like. I would say use a glitter glue. I didn't do that today, but what I did do is wet my brush. So I got some of the product on there, wet it with Fix Plus, and then used it on my eyes. So I do have two of those on my eyes today, and I think it looks really pretty. Like, I think it all came together well, so I think you can create really pretty eye looks with those shadows. I think it just takes a little bit more work, either a glitter base, using them wet, or just packing a lot on and you're probably gonna wanna like do a lot of cleanup under your eyes because there is that fallout. So they're not my ideal pick for shadows. I love glittery shades. I think they're really, really pretty. Um, I just wish there were some of those metallics to go with them. I don't mind a couple of glittery shades, but I would have liked some of the metallics in there as well. As far as comparable shades and or dupes, I really didn't find a ton. The ones that I really found were mostly like just kind of the creamy shades, the blending shades, um, a black shade, which you probably have a lot of those in other palettes anyway, but I always like those to be included in palettes. So those were mostly what I was finding. Like Christmas Blend is similar to Moon Over Their Wings and Favorite Things. Maple Syrup is similar to Sixpresso in Natural Matte and Puddin' in Semi Sweet. Peppermint Cream is similar to Extra Creamy in PB&J. Ginger Cream is similar to White Chocolate in the Chocolate Bar Palette and Coconut Cream in the Semi Sweet. And then Candy Cane is similar to Strawberry Bonbon in Chocolate Bar. And then lastly, Black Coffee is similar to Licorice in Semi Sweet. At least that's what I was finding, but that's not like an exhaustive list. I probably missed a couple, but just to give you an idea, mostly the things that I was finding were similar shades in those probably just really dupable in general kind of neutral shades, like creams, blending shades, that type of deal. So overall, I like this set, but I don't love, love it. I'm starting to like it more the more that I use it, but I'm not just like instantly blown away by it. But I do still think it would make a nice gift for somebody or a good collector's item just because the packaging is so cute. The presentation is adorable. The scent is a nice kind of added detail to it. So I do still like it and I'm glad that I got it, but I'm not just instantly blown away by the quality of those kind of glittery shades. I think they're just a little bit more difficult to work with. And a real quick mini review on the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. This is in Candy Cane. The outside box is absolutely adorable. The packaging is absolutely adorable. You have a little different lid on it. It looks like a little candy cane. So I love that. This smells and tastes amazing. Yeah, it smells like this really smells like peppermint mocha. So I think that they like hit the scent that they were going for perfectly with this one. So love the scent on it. Really, really pretty shade. It's kind of like a bright pinky red. I really do like it. Now formula on these, I like it, but it's not my favorite um, because it is, in my opinion, it kind of reminds me of like Kat Von D liquid lipsticks or some of the others that are kind of like right in the middle. So. It's pretty much like completely transfer proof for the most part, but it will start to transfer because I transferred my kisses onto Chester's head. <laughs> Tim was like, have you been kissing Chester's face? And I was like, yeah, because he had like, I didn't even realize I was doing it. He had pink all over him, but that was like later in the day. So it apparently can transfer to your cat's face at some point in the day. So it's mostly transfer proof, but apparently not completely. Um, and it is a little bit on the dry side, not super duper uncomfortable. I would say it's still really comfortable, but not the most comfortable liquid lipstick that I've ever worn. All right, guys, so that wraps up this review. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and hope it was helpful for you. Please give a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what you are thinking about all the holiday sets, which ones have you picked up and what are your thoughts and opinions. If you grabbed these, what do you think about them? I love hearing your thoughts. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!